Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am gonna show you my used to be dining room turned into craft room, now craft room slash studio room. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here it is, here is my craft room. And as you can see, it is now a studio room as well. So let's just go ahead and take a look. I kind of have different zones, if you will, um, in my craft room. So let's go ahead and start here on the left and we'll work our way around. So over here on my left, I have um, a cabinet full of my scrap vinyl and I got this cabinet from Ikea and then the rest of well I won't even say the rest of it most of it is from Michael's or Target so I'll point out where I got um, each piece of furniture so I do want to throw a little bit of a little thing out there. I am working on getting a new table and a new chair. So this is what I currently have. So let's just kind of ignore the messy table and the gaming chair. We're working on a new table and chair. I was a little anxious to get this video done. I wanted to wait until we got a new table and chair, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So I thought, you know what? I think you guys will all forgive me. Um, <laughs> for not having a really nice looking table. So anyways, um, yeah, so if we come in here, you will see each um, drawer labeled. Now these are all of my scraps. And then over here are all my rolled vinyl, except for my pattern vinyl. I didn't have a lot of pattern vinyl, so the rolls are all in here, and then the random scrap pieces are at the bottom here. Then the other um, drawers are all have a envelope, and each envelope has is color coordinated. And in the envelope, I have it labeled Everyday Iron On. So I used my Cricut Joy to create this label. In fact, you'll see this in my um, upcoming videos because I have some new colors that I never had scraps for, such as this gray and a few others. So you'll see that, how I do that in an upcoming video. And so some of the plastic envelopes didn't have that specific color, so I just used clear envelopes for, you know, the miscellaneous. So the pattern permanent vinyl is in a clear envelope and then of course gray is in the clear and so on and so forth so that is what I use for all of my scraps so I have pattern everyday iron-on permanent vinyl removable vinyl glitter foil and then I have infusible ink express iron-on and then there at the bottom I have sport flex iron-on then I have my Cricut Joy Extra. Back there I have my printer and this little stand that I have holding the printer that came from Michaels. This printer came from Best Buy. <clears throat> now it's not a true sublimation printer. I converted it to a sublimation printer. So just be mindful if you do that. Um, you know, you will void the warranty. So just bear that in mind. And then in this one, uh, this is my Cricut Explore Air 3. And then in these drawers, like for example, this one, this is where all of my mats are. I have quite a bit. Well, right now you can't kind of see it, but I'm going to lift all that up. So I have quite a bit of mats I use. And I have all the mats for all of like the Maker, the Joy, and the Joy Extra. And then here I have all of my measuring tapes. Here I just have um, my go some of my go-to. So some baby wipes, you know, some, a painter's tape, rubbing alcohol, which we're going to be uh, labeling that in another video, and just my sander, my cup cradle. And then in this one, I have... Um, 
just some like sublimation stuff. And then in this drawer, I have my heat press, my heat gun, and my parchment paper. And then the bottom drawer, I just have some miscellaneous um, material. Now over here is my craft table. This is where my joy sits, of course my computers, and then I have my glass mat, and then this larger mat, because unfortunately my ring light um, gives a little bit of a reflection, so uh, I have to get that situated, so I'm working on that. And then I just have a little caddy over here, and this came from Hobby Lobby. And then over here, I keep um, my tools that I use, like mat or um, true control knives, scissors, my traditional tools I use to craft with, and some miscellaneous stuff. And then in here, I have well, usually this is my transfer tape scraps, and clearly I've used them all up. But these are all my 12 by 12 removable vinyls. And here is, well, ignore that. This is all my pattern vinyl. And here, this is all permanent. And then down here, I just have my heat gun, or um, my hot glue gun, stapler, and my miter shears. Now over here, this is where all of my wood blanks, I say that with quotations, um, that I buy. This is just one of two stashes, and I'll explain why <laughs> there is so much, but there it is, and I'll explain it in a little bit. And then here, just some additional containers left over, and then I have my clamshell, and then these shelves, and all of these are all from Michael's, and then down here, these cubicles are all from uh, Target. So here, it's kind of like my heating station. I have my heat press and all the Cricut heat presses, my mug press, and then here's just um, bags that I use for my trash can. I have a lot of them, so I just keep them in a cute little uh, box. Now this buffet table or cabinet, whatever it's called, I got it in a, um, I don't know, like a, a yard sale type thing. And so, um, you know, you can't buy that at any source, but I'm sure you can find something very similar to that. And this is kind of, all of this is kind of a mess. I'm not going to go in those cabinets, but a lot of it's just fabric related in this drawer. Some of um, smaller, like acrylic rounds, those coasters that you've seen in my Valentine's Day video and my Christmas video, and then all my fabric sewing stuff here, and then some miscellaneous tools in there. Now over here, my husband made these boxes, and of course I labeled all of them, and these are all of my Cricut pens and markers. Down here is my button press, and then all of this is all my faux foods and resin. Over here, now just looking at the top only, um, well now over here, I again, I reorganized my craft room. All this actually used to be over on this wall, but now I switched it and I actually got rid of a bookcase. You'll see that in another room here in a moment. But um, so I do have a few spots available. So these are all just kind of empty with the exception of this and just some leftover containers. And then this is all of my vinyl. So this whole side is all iron on. So I try to divide it out as much as I, you know, separate as much as I could. Solid iron on, and then we have some solid mixed with uh, foil and glitter iron on. And then this is all my pattern. No, wait, not pattern because I already have pattern over there. So this is, um, this is a glitter. So we have solid solid, mixed in with some, a little bit of glitter, all of my glitter iron on, and then my sublimation and flock um, 
or puff vinyl. Now in the next three columns are all of my um, adhesive vinyl. Now they are mixed in with permanent and removable just because if I were to divide it out separate from each other and then also by color I would not have enough room for all of this storage space over here. So <clears throat> I just got to be mindful of when selecting my vinyl to make sure that it is permanent or removable. You know, I just got to make sure that, um, you know, which one I'm selecting. And I pretty much left everything in a case unless there was a small amount and I needed the space, then I took it out of the tube. But for the most part, they're all in the tube. So we have the whites, the blacks. And then we have um, uh, some pattern adhesive over there. Like, yeah, so pattern, I'm trying to think. Yeah, pattern here. And then I have my pinks and reds, my greens, my grays and purples, because I don't have a lot of purples. So I mixed it in with the gray. And then I have my orange and yellow. And then I have all my blue. And then this is like the holographic, the sparkle, vinyl, so like multicolor. So pattern and then multicolor. And down here, just these three, I should say, those are all my Cricut Joy vinyl. And then, so like this is um, adhesive vinyl, adhesive vinyl, and then this is HTV. And some, I think some sublimation. Yeah, that's sublimation. And then I also have my Cricut Joy Extra Vinyl, so it's a little bit small because um, I don't have a lot just because I just got that machine for Christmas. So, and I'm not going to really use it for vinyl crafting as much as I thought I would, but I'm going to be using it definitely for uh, DTF and a few other things. So stay tuned. We're going to be getting into that here in the upcoming month or so. Um, I'm going to be making some shirts off of the... Uh, I'm going to do the print thing cut and then iron it onto a shirt. So I'm, I'm really excited about doing that. That's a, one of the main reasons why I got that Cricut Joy Extra or wanted that Cricut Joy Extra. And then all of these bins, they are all from Hobby Lobby, but I haven't seen their pink yet. And granted, it's only January, so they might, at the time I'm making this video, so they might... Um, will be coming in soon. I just haven't seen any pink just yet. Now over here in this, in these, um, sets of bins, I have like, now I still have to do a little bit more organization, kind of everything's in its place, but I further need to organize it. Yes. I am one of those individuals that will reorganize something I just organized. And I always think that it can be further organized. I, I feel like I have a little bit of a problem with organization. So bear with me on everything but so I have and I'm missing some labels because again I just reorganized everything so I'm going to be making labels on my channel with these bins and of course those plastic envelopes so you'll see that coming soon but in these bins here I have like paint 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 then I have ongoing projects and then miscellaneous stuff some like stuff that I just got that I just haven't had time to put away that went in there. And then, um, well, some wood, like I have small embroidery hoops in there for Christmas that I wanted to do, but never got a chance. So I'll do that next year or this year rather. And then here I have all like my wood beads and stuff. And then I have like smaller paper, um, cardstock and then envelopes. And then again, ongoing projects. So sorry, this is a little bit out of order. And then again, all paint supplies and then paint brushes. So I just bought some more paint brushes just because I have a lot of painting projects coming up to my channel and I needed additional foam brushes <laughs> that I need. Um, and I also have, if you look up here, I do have some foam brushes in this little box. So these boxes I got from Hobby Lobby and I think I got this acrylic drawer set from Michael's and then all of these little containers. You can either get them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but I got them from uh, Michael's because I feel like they have a better deal. Now in these containers, I have like all of, with the exception of this one here, because that's Again, I kind of just need to organize it, but um, all of these containers are all like my wood 
cut out. So like my wood letters or, you know, a design of that nature. And then I have, sorry, my fingers, I'm not a great videographer. So I apologize if this is kind of jittery, but, um, I had like mica powder here and like, I was into watercolors a little bit or water paint, watercolor painting and I'm not good. So there's no way I'm going to bring it to my channel, but I tried and it just wasn't my thing. Um, and then here's just some stuff that I'm going to get into with my Cricut Joy Extra and, um, a few other things for really any project like there's wood veneer in there so just miscellaneous stuff that I just haven't found room for it so again this is not completely organized um just yet but you know it's it's just it's in its home I just need to organize it within its home right does that make sense and then up here you will see I have I'm not sure which one's which I think this is my explorer 2 and then I have my maker and my cute little decor that I'm going to redo and bring it to my channel. And then I kind of skipped over this because this is another area that I need to organize. Um, but I have another Cricut Joy here. They had it on sale for like 75 bucks or something ridiculously inexpensive. So I went ahead and bought it. And plus my goal was to do craft shows and do craft on demand. So that's why I wanted to buy another Cricut Joy. And I thought good price and good idea. So that's why I have another one. It's in its box here. I had it out, but now I put it back in the box just so that way you know, I don't um, accidentally drop it or whatever the case is. Then over here to the right, let me go ahead and get to that. You will see this is all of my cardstock. So I have washi tape here and some leftover baskets that I when I reorganized, I was able to condense cardstock, more cardstock. And then down here, just some random cardstock. I am going to take you into a different room and show you a little bit of my craft supply slash craft hoard and we'll bring it back in this room now bear with me a little bit here my husband is into 3d printing so we share this room and well really this was his room and now he has graciously allowed me to have a little bit of real estate in this room so um, this is my little craft corner in this downstairs room, bedroom that we have. We converted it into like an office slash game room and slash craft room. So this is all my husband's stuff. So that none of that's mine. Um, but here is where all of the rest of my blanks are. And again, I say that with air quotes, right? Um, so yes, there are quite a bit because as you guys if you've been around my channel long enough, you will know that I buy a lot when it goes 90% off and then I refinish it. So my goal is, is to start creating home decor um, to sell on Etsy. So I kind of been stacking up my craft stash in, in order to get going on that. So you're going to see a lot of this stuff to my coming to my channel because I want to craft it, craft with it, and then sell it on Etsy. So stay tuned for that. It has not opened. I am not even close to opening it. Right now, I'm just trying to get my YouTube channel off the ground, and that is taking up most of my life when I'm not busy working and being a mom of a two-and-a-half-year-old two and, of course, a wife and um, all that fun stuff. So anyways, so here is all of that. So this bookcase originally was in the craft room, but luckily I was able to condense everything because of those shelves that I added. And now it's in here. Now, over here, you will see uh, four containers. So this is like the smaller of the craft blanks that you see here below um, on the right side. And that is, well, I'll go ahead and open up one just to kind of show you what that all, that is all about. So here is all, and I apologize about the lighting. There's something I can do about it. We have really bad lighting in this room that we're working on fixing. But so here are all of my wood blanks that doesn't need any sanding per se. You know, it's, there's nothing on there. And um, <clears throat> that, 
you know, this is just specifically blank DIY, right? So here are all the blanks. And again, I say that with air quotes because they're not really blanks, but they have potential of being blanks, right? So this is something that you guys seen on my channel. So that's what that looks like. And I sanded it off and then of course, you know, did whatever I wanted to do with it. So again, I'm sorry that you can see my shadow. Hi, <laughs> just really bad lighting in here. And of course, a little bit of a bad angle. So again, this is just all of the blanks that I bought that I am going to craft with. And I have two totes of that. So let's go ahead and get back into the craft room to do a final look. So here it is, my once dining room now turned into a craft room slash studio room. And I do have plans in enclosing this area. This is actually an arched opening that here's my front door. So <clears throat> I ideally like to try to close this off. So that way, if it's not exactly clean at that point in time, when we have guests, we can close it and lend some privacy in this room. But for now, I try to keep it as clean as best as possible. And not only that, I can't work in a disorganized craft room. So it's always organized if you ask me. But yeah, so I know there's a lot going on here. But I think that, you know, given that I craft all the time, especially now that I have a YouTube channel, it makes it all well worth it. So if you have any questions about where I got something, please feel free to comment on this video and let me know. I will try to link it as best as possible. Now I'm not gonna link anything um, in the description box just because I don't really have the time. If I'm being honest, I'm kind of throwing this video in at the last moment. So I apologize, I won't have anything linked in the description box. However, if you comment and ask where I got something, I'd be more than happy to go ahead and show you or um, try to provide a link for you. But again, Ikea, Michaels, um, all of these up here, that is all from Michaels. All these cubicles are all from Target. The bins are from Hobby Lobby. And then those containers that you've seen, those were all from like, I think uh, Lowe's. Yeah, Lowe's. And then this bookcase here, that is from Target. So there you go. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment on on this video and I'd be more than happy to, you know, answer in some way that I can. I apologize if <laughs> this video is a little bit shaky. I am not a videographer by any means, so <laughs> um, I've tried my best, but I really wanted to give you guys a grand tour of my little happy place. All right, thanks for watching.